it's really a pleasure to meet you today. It's very nice to be here as well. Um, it's a rainy day, but spring is finally here, and the baseball season has kicked off. Uh, you've said that you're in your best condition so far. How has the games been? Uh, you know, it's been a little up and down um, so far this season, but um, you know, it's it's very difficult because last year we got off to such a strong start. Um, myself personally, so you know, I'm still focusing more on a quality win than I or on a quality start than I am on winning baseball games. You know, my philosophy on the mound is to keep my team in a ball game no matter how many runs I give up. If I give up five runs and we score five runs then I've done my job. If I give up one run and we've scored one run then I've done my job and I, I try and keep it as simple as I can to try and keep the emotion of winning baseball games out of it. Okay, um, let's talk about LG Twins. The team has a tendency of starting off on a very strong foot and then that momentum just kind of fizzles out, you know, uh, later into the year. Why do you think that is? I think it's it's, it's tough because you have so many young guys on this team and you know we don't have the depth on each team that you do in the United States. In the United States you have the big league team and then you have six minor league teams underneath it and everybody is very competitive. Here you have, um, you have a very good core of guys that play for the LG Twins or the Doosan Bears or the Kia Tigers or any of the big teams like that but as soon as someone gets hurt it's tough to fill that spot. And, you know, that on top of the fact that we have a lot of young guys on this team, mm -hmm. and to me, I think we'll get better, but it takes a while and it's a process because the season is so long. You know, we play 133 games, and the workload that these young kids are putting in right now, to me, their bodies just aren't used to it, and it's something that they have to adapt to. Um, so I think, you know, in the coming years when these, when these kids that are on this team now, these young guys turn into veterans, um, I think they're going to be, it's going to be a whole, a whole different baseball team. Uh, in the same context, I mean, you've had your experience in the U.S. as well as a baseball player. Uh, what are some of the shortfalls in Korean baseball? The, the rules that they have here some, somewhat differ than they do in the United States. And, and you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of a lot of the rules that they have that they try, they use to s sort of speed the game up a little bit. To me, I actually think that they slow the game down. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and... You see, in the United States, every now and again, you'll see games that go two hours, two and a half hours. Very few go over three hours, but here it's a three-hour game pretty much no matter how you cut it, mostly because uh, the coaching is a little bit different. When they run matchups out on the mound, you've got lefty versus lefty, you've got righty versus righty, you know, and you've got a lot of guys that are designed and made to get those guys out in those situations. So it definitely slows the game down a little bit when you get into the matchups, especially if your starting pitcher doesn't go six or seven innings. So, but uh, you know, other than that, I, I wouldn't be here for three years if I didn't enjoy it. And the fans are different too, right? Uh, we do more cheering than the booing. Do you think that actually helps your performance or is it the other way around? I, you know, when I'm on the mound, I don't hear anything. Um, I don't hear the fans, I, you know, and I've had people ask me if they hear me, if they hear them screaming my name out, you know, and I, to me it's just, I, when I'm on the mound, it's total focus on what I've got going on with the batter um, and the situation that I'm in right now. And, and, um, but it is, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun to hear when you're sitting in the dugout, mm -hmm. um, especially for, you know, my first season, it was really kind of, t it took me back, it kind of blew me back in my seat a little bit to hear the fans singing and cheering and dancing and, mm -hmm. you know, having a good time regardless of what the score was and how the game was going. And it was, it's really fun to see. And the other thing about that is, is I do, I, I enjoy, you know, I have, I have fans that are Samsung fans, I have fans of mine that are, Hanwha fans, mm -hmm. Kia fans, you know, and it's it's really nice to see because in the States when you have a team like the New York Yankees <laughs> and they go and face Boston, mm -hmm. they're not friendly. You know, I've been to a few of those games, not, mm -hmm. I haven't played in any of them, but I've gone to them and they're intense. Mm -hmm. um, so from, from that perspective, it is a lot different and I really enjoy. Have you had any peculiar gifts from Korean fans? Yeah, actually we just got... Uh, I, her name is Emily. Her American name is Emily, and she just gave me a calendar um, that she, I guess she made. She took a bunch of photos, and it's of me pitching on the mound, or there's a couple photos of me with my son at the All Star Game. Um, really neat gifts. When I was in, um, where were we? I think we were in Okinawa. Um, 
another fan came up to me and gave me a photo of uh, me and my son at the All-Star game. And, and to me, those are the, the most meaningful gifts to me because it, you know, at that point when I was in Okinawa, I hadn't seen my family in a month and a half or two months at that point. So to have someone give me something like that mm -hmm. really meant a lot because I didn't actually have a, a, a picture of my son with me oh, in Okinawa. Okay. So that really meant a lot to me. It's very personal. Yes. And I, those are the kind of stuff that I like to receive, mm -hmm. you know, when when someone comes up and says they appreciate what I do for the team or, mm -hmm. you know, jukuchi fighting or anything like that, <laughs> I, you know, it's it's it really does it. it it builds my confidence and it makes me feel like I'm more at home here even though I'm 6,000 miles away. Okay. Um, as a star pitcher, you're known more for your uh, location than velocity. Are you um, trying to change that? No, I'm not. I'm just not locating very well. <laughs> oh. um, no, I, you know, and I know I am throwing harder this year than I have in years past. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, a lot of that is attributed to the fact that when I was in the United States, I, you know, I played AAA. And I, every year after the season ended in the United States for three years, I played overseas. I played in the Dominican in the, in the Winter League. I played in Venezuela for a season. And, it, you know, for me, I always felt like I, I, my body could handle that. And I still mm -hmm. think it could. Mm -hmm. But to go without an off season so to speak because you go from a season to winter ball and then you go to spring training basically and for me to not really have that time off I think put a lot of uh, stress and wear and tear on my arm and then you know last season at the end of la uh, to, at the end of my first season I told the coaching staff I said look I'm not going to pick up a ball mm -hmm. um, I'll do my my weight training and all that, but I'm not going to pick up a ball till I get to Saipan, and that actually, I think it helped me a lot. Even though my velocity was down a little bit last year, I still put up better numbers than I did the year before. Um, having said that, now I feel like coming into the season, my arm is fresh. I feel like, you know, I have that 94 mile an hour fastball that I used to have every now and again, and it's, you know, it's, it's not something I, I don't think I could go out there and throw 94 every single pitch, but when I need to hump up and throw you know, a fastball in a big situation to try and get a guy out, I feel like I can do that again. So it's a big confidence booster. I haven't really figured out how to locate that yet. So, you know, and we've been struggling a little bit with location lately, but we're, it's something that we're working on. And I'm hoping that my next outing, it will be, it will be a drastic improvement. Ilbo,ファンスタゴ。ilbo,スタバコ、ペイスカバドローナ、ニルソンジュイン。ああ。ここ受けてるぜ。ね。チュッキチゾン。バッカチョックストレートボールで出るのは2番ホール。あ、金